My friend nostalgia. My brother just texted me, girl. The sweet sound Remember to choose people who choose you. It's the most simplest quote, but the hardest one to follow. From years ago, we were laughing about some nonsense. Oh, how I miss those friends. Circumstances made it so that I'll never see their faces. Except for What is up guys? We just finished lunch. Alora. Alora is in the back playing with her stickers. Um and we're just gonna like shop around. Um we went to the grocery store already and now I need to go look at a few things um at TJ Maxx. I was gonna drive to Target, but you guys heard me a million times say it's two hours away for one. Um, and for two, the two hours away was not the problem. It raining, it's supposed it's supposed to be raining according to the weather. That is the problem. So don't wanna be on the road. My brother just texted me. Don't wanna be on the road um when it's raining really bad. So which is crazy because it looks so nice outside um a little cloudy a little cloudy i'm not gonna lie but um yeah that's why i'm not gonna go to target instead we're gonna go to tj maxx and fingers crossed that they have some stuff in there i know for a fact that i'm gonna i've already like made my target list <laughs> i've already made my target list so i already know that some of the things that i want i'm just for sure gonna have to go to target so maybe that'll be like a weekend trip if it's not raining too bad um but after target um i think target <laughs> i want to go to target so bad <laughs> after tj maxx we're gonna go get a car wash for sure the car is a mess um the outside the inside it is completely a mess so definitely need to do that as well i woke up this morning and i just had like a ton of energy i y'all i've been feeling like blah like nothing bad but just like stagnant but for sure getting out of the house being productive that is the goal that is the key that is what we're doing today um doing grocery shopping pretty early actually because i knew for a fact that if i didn't do it early it wasn't gonna get done fingers crossed that we are going to accomplish um being productive today um and then after the car wash i'm thinking thinking um about going to this other store but i'm not quite sure yet because i just don't know um how allura is gonna feel because it's kind of cutting close to her nap time so but yeah the goal is to get things done how are y'all feeling like i know it's not summer yet but it's like some days it's like man it feels like summer already and then other days it just feels like when is summer gonna get here um so the weather is still like up and down because it's spring. I don't know, the forecast has not been accurate because it says, oh, it's supposed to rain all day, X, Y, Z, and then it doesn't rain. So if it doesn't rain today, I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be a little, little, I'm just gonna be a tiny bit salty about it just because, you know, I could've drove to Target. I could've drove to Target. Um, but it says it's supposed to rain really bad later on and Normally with a target trip being that it's two hours away. I need to leave like kind of early So that is another thing if you guys are new it is just summer and I do college videos mom videos Lifestyle videos and everything in between um, School is officially over for me um, Until the fall I was thinking about doing summer classes, but I'm like, you know what a lot is happening so many exciting things are happening. Let me actually take a break so I don't overwhelm myself. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and start school in the fall so thank you so much for clicking on this video we're just gonna be productive and see what we find in TJ Maxx if we find anything in TJ Maxx and yeah Allure's in the back seat playing with her belt she's at this age where she's taking off the the, the her seatbelt she's at that age where she's taking off her seatbelt I'm just like why like her car seat belt I'm just like why why are we at this age like girl like I need you to stay you gotta stay in your seat you gotta stay buckled up safety safety's first anyways yeah let me just stop rambling like I said we had lunch Wendy's for the win and I will pick up the camera when I get a chance let me make this quick because it's kind of awkward they had another Olipop that I haven't tried this is the lemon lime so Laura's in the car eating her apple um but yeah I thought I would try this one out real quick It tastes like a vintage Sprite. Like, I don't even know if that makes sense. Like, it tastes like a dated. It tastes like a dated Sprite. I was gonna say the can matches my nails, but the lime does a little bit. Don't look too close though, cause they look kinda bad. Still gonna go to Walmart. We just left to have the Sullivan's. Got the baby girl an apple and I got a vintage cola and some sour cream. That's really all when I called my mom I was like, hey, what do we need for taco night or whatever? She was like, oh, well, if you want sour cream, get sour cream. But then she said she needs to go to the store. So I don't know. I guess she got like what she needed. She has like pretty much like all the fixings that she needs. And then I'm just going to pick up some jalapenos fresh because your girl likes jalapenos is it good she's devouring this apple but hi come here hi yeah. hi mm -hmm. Ugh. What, what does that mean you haven't shown your face in a while My friend nostalgia, I found you When I heard the sweet sound of the ones who I once knew so well In a voice memo from years ago We were laughing about some nonsense Oh how I miss those friends Okay guys, so this video was essentially supposed to be a like productive what I do in a day as a single mom vlog style type of video but I've been feeling a few things like heavily on my mind and I was just like okay let me save that for another video we still did a couple things that were like productive and everything like that but um like I did like run a few errands and like go to Target and pick up some really cool like things like a transition or going through the process of things um just like being a single mom and was going to school working juggling life and everything and still creating content and trying to keep it consistent because that's one of my things i was trying to stay consistent with my content and everything which I actually uh, I absolutely have been staying consistent with my content but I needed to take a day to 
really like connect with myself it just feels like I've been like go 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 and nothing like nothing bad but I was just like sitting and I was writing in my journal and um, I was just thinking just about like all the things that have transpired um, in the course of like six or eight months and I was really hard on myself um, at one point in time I'm still kind of hard on myself like I'm my biggest critic I can for sure say that I was just like going through my journal and I was just thinking about like the things that I used to do and the things that I used to hold interest in me the music I used to listen to shows I used to watch and just really touching bases with like the person that I am now and what all that I enjoy now and my music has changed it's not the same um, my habits have changed I've become more disciplined not exactly where I want to be yet but learning discipline and consistency that does take time it's just not like a switch on and you know you're just automatically disciplined you know um, I remember writing in my first journal in quarter one that I cannot wait to meet the woman that I am by the end of the year and just to reflect and go on and just like reflect and touch bases and just see the difference and feel the difference and it's genuine and it's like just a form of self-fulfillment thinking like man I can't wait to meet the future version of myself just by the end of the year I'm in the process of becoming so unrecognizable and realizing that people are gonna have to be reintroduced to me because going through the transition and going through a process and just being you feel different your mental is different you you move different you walk different it's really really like a self-fulfillment thing and it feels so good and so genuine pretty much understanding that sometimes the old people don't fit in your new journey but they fit in your old journey and the person that you was prior to the self-work you're doing and the 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 grind and the mental the mentality and all that things all those things but they don't fit they don't really fit in your new journey there's no mental capacity for for the old things don't feel like you're losing out or you're missing out on these fun times or these fun things and what's going on i another thing i've heard is you work hard now and go after the things that you truly believe in now because you'll be able to chill and relax later just reminding myself like reminding myself that i am worth everything that i deserve and i deserve everything that i'm worth and being on this self fulfillment journey um i remind myself that not every day is going to be like peachy or have been like really 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 um hard days when i kind of reflect and look back on some of the things that i was feeling or the interest that i had at one point like i then look at who i am now and my interest now and looking back and making like just an evaluation on man i feel like so good like inside i feel good i feel lighter i don't feel so heavy and i'm gonna love the future me 10 times more going this route opposed to the things that i was just so interested in at one point in time and I just wasn't fully, I didn't feel fulfilled. And it sounds so crazy. I've said this in past videos, but um, I did go through that. And I don't know if you guys have ever like went through that period in time where you just felt like, you know, oh, I want to please this person and I want to please that person and I want to um, fit in. I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. And I wasn't following then, but I definitely was seeking the approval of other people 
um, back then, last year, two years, three years ago, and just realizing that at the end of the day, I'm gonna spend life with myself. So why not pour into myself? Why not self-care? Why not build myself up and tell myself, like, girl, you are, girl, you are amazing. You are smart, you are bright, you are beaming, you are strong, you are talented. Just all these amazing things. Um, and I wasn't, talk I wasn't really talking to myself like that. Um, and then when I also think about it, it's like those things I would love to, to show Laura that like and teach Laura that you are strong, you are beautiful, you don't need the approval of other people and that also helps me. I remember my therapist was saying sometimes it's okay to just ask yourself, you know, like insert Laura and just be like, would you want her to go through this? Would you want her to feel this way? Or would you want her to know these things? And I would for sure want her to know like, you don't need other people. You don't need the approval of other people. You know, you at the end of the day have to stand strong and you have to fully believe and trust yourself and go after the things that you absolutely love. And it literally guys i was going like i was like it made me so emotional but like that was the truth that was i would i would want her to know that at the end of the day you have to trust that you're not gonna let yourself down i don't know i was just thinking like i was thinking about this journey that i've been on and just looking back at journals and understanding like man i felt i felt this before and this was like a real thing and it's like of course it was a real thing i was going through it and all this stuff um but life is changing and it's changing kind of fast i don't know about y'all but february went by so quick march went, went by so quick so i don't I don't know I just felt like let me come on and like talk about this because this was really seriously like weighing on me um, but yeah like life is just moving so fast and there's so much happening Laura is getting so tall she is growing up she's learning new words she's singing she's always 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 singing always singing I needed to say this and just for sure have something to look back on because these are kind of like video diaries you know so maybe I'll look back at this video in a year and just be like you know I am so proud of the woman that you have become and the things that you have accomplished and the growth that you have made so yeah but I really hope that you guys as well are realizing don't give up on yourself keep your mental strong as possible as much as you can if you need therapy don't be scared to get in it stick with it um trust yourself love yourself believe in yourself believe in your dreams believe in the things that you see in your mentality because those things are real remember to choose people who choose you it's the most simplest quote but the hardest one to follow believe the things that you see in your mind and trust yourself that voice that you hear in your head trust it trust trust that um but yeah i just want to come on here and i don't know i just want to say that also i've been trying to get into um somewhat of an uploading schedule routine i feel like that will also help me um to be more disciplined so i'm gonna try it out for like two weeks and then um, once I feel like okay I have it down then I'll go ahead and like tell you guys um, so you guys know what I'll upload what we'll be up to what we're doing we're always not gonna be doing a lot a lot but um, we have some really cool things that are happening and yeah I just want to come on here and say that I don't know if this video is gonna make sense I don't know if this video is gonna make sense I don't know how long this video is gonna be I don't think it's gonna be that long Sometimes I say that and then when I'm editing, I'll be like, oh, it's only like two minutes shorter or, or it's like a minute 
or exactly the same like time frame that I normally like to have it so I don't know we will for sure see though um, I hope you guys are doing so so well I hope you guys are still looking at your vision board Ooh, looking at your vision boards for sure what separates you from average people is actually sticking with your vision boards um, at least that's what I be feeling I feel like at the beginning of the year people make vision boards and then they don't really go and look at them and check on them and see like man am I checking this off checking that off y'all still stick with your vision boards because you put it down for a reason you feel those things you want those things and you desire those things so I would for sure for sure still be looking at your vision boards thank you guys so much for watching this video i don't really know if this is going to be in the video or if i'm going to put some clips after this but overall um probably be the last time i talk in the video so yeah comment down below let me know what you guys thought about the video if you liked it if you felt like i could do something better but just make sure you like tap it into yourself and your mental health and what you what you aspire your dream all that good stuff make sure you're really tapping into your self-care because that um that too is real important so don't just don't drain yourself make sure you're pouring back into your cup and yeah i will see y'all in the next video is that it i think that's it all right y'all bye <laughs>